At least four soldiers have been killed and around 60 others severely wounded in a Hezbollah drone attack on an army base in central Israel. It's the deadliest strike by the militant group on Israeli territory since the IDF launched its ground operation into Lebanon nearly two weeks ago. Hezbollah said the attack near Binyamina was in retaliation for Israeli strikes on Beirut on Thursday that killed 22 people. The group also said it launched dozens of missiles to occupy Israeli air defense systems, which set off air raid sirens further north in the city of Haifa. The Pentagon has confirmed the Biden administration is planning to send a missile defense system to Israel to protect against any Iranian threats. It also says U.S. troops will be deployed to operate that system. It's known as THAAD. The terminal high-altitude area defense requires 95 soldiers to operate it. It's highly effective in shooting down short, medium, and intermediate-range ballistic missiles. It can hit targets as far as 200 kilometers away. It consists of six truck-mounted launchers, 48 interceptors, radio and radar equipment. Late at night in Kharkiv, many people were in bed when a blast tore through their neighborhood. Ukrainian officials say this was the work of a new game-changing Russian weapon known as a glide bomb. Glide bombs are cheap to produce, and Russia's using them to terrorize Ukrainian cities. They use old Soviet-era ammunition, some with over a ton of explosives, retrofitted with wings and GPS. Tensions on the Korean Peninsula are escalating as North Korea ordered its artillery corps near the border with South Korea to be fully prepared to shoot. According to the North State-run Korean Central News Agency on Sunday, the general staff of the North Korean People's Army delivered an Operation Preparatory Directive on Saturday to artillery combined forces near the border and units assigned important firepower missions to be ready for full-scale shooting by Saturday 8 p.m. The regime's urge for readiness comes after the regime's claim of drone incursions on Friday night. We're now down to three Raptor engines. We can see those chopsticks now. Thank you.